Welcome to the video edition of Arts and Times, the Tri-County Arts Calendar. Each quarter, we highlight regional artists who work and exhibit in our area, as well as some of our must-see cultural and natural attractions. Rena Thaler is a painter whose work is inspired by the natural beauty all around her. My mom was an art teacher growing up. She used to teach oil painting lessons in our home and every Friday all the neighborhood kids would come in and take lessons from her and so that really began my love of painting and art. After many years working side by side with her husband, running several businesses in the resort, Rena gave birth to twins, requiring commerce to take a back seat to family. But this eventually gave her the unexpected time to rediscover her love of art and to volunteer at the Art League of Ocean City. When my kids went off to first grade and started going to school full time, I had been taking classes on and off at the Art League and decided at that point to join the board of directors and became more and more involved in the organization and the opportunity to study with a lot of great artists. Regional workshops have played a big part in her training as an artist. Now that Rena has learned about technique, she is concentrating on what she wants to say with her art. I can work very realistically and I can work very abstractly. Probably the thing that unifies my artwork the most is the use of color. I've always been a sucker for color. Crayola crayons in the 64 box was my favorite possession as a child. So in all of my work there's always a lot of color. Now I do know the technical way to portray a boat or portray a sky or you know, a beach or a flower, but what do I want to say with it? So that's what I've been concentrating more on my work is in the confidence that I know how to, to do, how to apply the paint, but what do I want it to all mean and what do I want people to, when they look at my body of work after I'm gone, to say about me as an artist. Rena invests a lot of her emotion into her art. She says her work is a journey of self-expression. A recent trip to Israel and Jordan inspired a series resulting in a major exhibit of mixed media paintings. I wanted to convey to people the message that there was a hope for peace, that um, what I saw was different cultures interacting on the streets, you know, Arabs and Jews and all, every faith. I saw people from every church, from the Mormon faith, from Catholic faith all visiting and how much the land means to the whole world. Rena is president of the Art League of Ocean City. This in itself is one of Rena's great works of art. She has been a driving force in the effort to build a new center for the arts in Ocean City. That dream is coming true with their new building now under construction. The new Ocean City Center for the Arts, which will be located in the same location on 94th Street that the League had been in since 1984, will be a 7,500 square foot building compared to our other building, which is just a little over 1,000 square feet. And it'll incorporate multiple gallery spaces so that we can have more than one exhibit at a time. It'll have more than one classroom space so you could have different classes and activities going on. It'll have a pottery studio, which is something that a lot of people are looking forward to because not everybody's a painter or a photographer. It'll have a digital workspace for graphic designers and, um, and photographers. We'll be able to do programs in there that incorporate theatrical aspects, dance, um, other forms of arts, readings, poetry, so we're really looking forward to what we could bring to the community. Rena's background in business gives her skills other artists may not have, but at the heart of it all is passion. So I've had a lot of different business you know, experiences which I was able to use as not only to promote myself as an artist but also to help the Art League and um, Gallery One, which is a cooperative art gallery that I'm partners in in Ocean View, Delaware. So that, that's been a really rewarding experience. It's especially rewarding because each one of the partners up there adds a different element. We all work in different media and everybody, even if we all go out and paint together and we all paint the same scene, every single one of them comes out different because everybody has their own 
approach. I'm passionate about the arts and I'm passionate about Ocean City. I've spent my entire adult life here. I've made this my home. I've raised my children here. And um, I'm very passionate about the arts in the community and bringing something to the community with the Art League. Rena is also a member of the Worcester County Arts Council, the Delaware Watercolor Society, and the Millsboro Art League. You can find out more about Rena at renathaler.com. Thank you for watching this edition of Arts and Times. This Moonshell production was funded by the Worcester County Department of Tourism. Eat, Drink, Buy Art on Maryland's Eastern Shore. Visit eatdrinkbyart.com to find out about 10 towns where great food goes with great art, all produced locally. You'll have a terrific time and take home a work of art you'll always treasure.